Kids, have I told you about how I met your mother? Yes, Dad. Well, shut up and let me give you a recap. I was born on the upper parts of town. Your mother was from downtown. Technically, we should never have spoken, but I was somewhat of a rebel. I was taught to stay in the light, to get as much of it as possible, to be the star of the show. I was curious about the underground scene, so I went to find out more about it. After seeing some dangerous places and questionable citizens, I was told about a party I should join. Wear something sexy, I was told. So I put on my best leathers and made my way there. It was a crazy night. I arrived at the club with everybody looking at me strange. Had they never seen the upper class? Anyway, while I was killing it on the dance floor, I seen your mother. I made my moves and soon we were kissing. Then all of a sudden the heat bust down the door and everyone started running. Why is everybody running away? I shouted. Don't you know this is an underground party? We're not allowed here, she said. If they catch you, you'll get thrown in the hot pot. We managed to get out the back. We ran into the night. The rest, well, the rest made you. As you can see, unfortunately, we don't have a kitchen currently. So, that's why there's been no bare burns. But, the show must go on. So instead, we're gonna do something else. Ta-da! We're cooking outside. Okay, so today, we're going to be making butternut and chili soup. However, I figured since I have no idea what I'm doing, because I've never done it on a fire before, and you generally don't cook soup on a fire, I'm just gonna make a kind of chili and butternut soup. So, we're gonna have butternut. It's this thing. I don't know what the whole world calls it. I've heard it be called a pumpkin. Don't think it's a pumpkin, it's a butternut. Anyway, we've got carrots, potatoes, chilies, some garam masala, some chili powder, I can't remember the name of, uh, cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, salt, pepper, oil, butter, and that's it. I am not 100% sure of the how much we're going to put in because we're just going to try it and taste it along the way. But what I'll do is when I'm done with it, I'll put the stuff over here. Remember, when you're cooking on a fire, you've got to have a beer. Okay, so we're going to peel these, cut them, and here's the thing about cutting this. Nobody fucking cares how you cut them, just make sure they're round about the same size. Seriously, you want to cut them in circles, go for it. But just make sure they're roughly the same size. But nobody gives a fuck, you're going to blitz it anyway, like seriously, nobody cares. Okay, so. Let's go. These things are a bastard to cut because they're so hard. You can save the seeds and you can roast them if you want. Fucking hell, get the fuck out of here, seeds. Okay, time for the carrots. Finally, potatoes. Okay, peeling's done. Now, time for chopping. Remember what we said, nobody gives a fuck how you cut your veggies, you're gonna blitz them, just make sure they're the same size. Chilies, these, I just keep them in the freezer, because why not? Normally I just pop the tops off, and then roll them, like this, and that'll get out all the seeds. We'll get our waste bucket here, and just roll them, and we'll take out the majority of the seeds, like that. And it's doggy dinner time. Hi Oz. Yeah, again, just cut them rough and throw them in. Pop, pop. Done. Now I'm hoping that our pot's hot enough. But we need a beer first to check. Yeah, it's looking good. And we'll just throw in some oil. Check that it runs like water, almost instantly. Vegetables. Oh, it's not that bad. In they go. Normally I'd roast these in the oven, till they have a nice brown 
brownness on the edges. But obviously, I don't have an oven, so it's gonna go in pot. And now we wait. Still just waiting. With the risk of melting the camera, let's see what's going on inside here. You see they're starting to get a little bit brown? That's what we're looking for. We've got a lot more of that. I think we have enough brown on it now. That's pretty much what I would pull it out of the oven with the back, so I think that's gonna work. So we're gonna put in some butter. It's probably gonna melt like almost instantly. And then we're gonna throw in some spices, so we're gonna get a little bit of pepper, salt, smoked paprika, fire in the eyes, a little cayenne pepper, or cayenne pepper, or however you wanna say pepper, and then about a tablespoon of garam masala, and some Kashmiri chili powder, about a half a tablespoon. Stir it about, let that cook for about a minute. Bear burns a wizard. I summon water. Water! To fit with the theme, we have a curried vegetable stock cube. And then in goes the water. There's about, how big is this kettle? 1.7 meters. Oz, get it. Get that teddy bear. Okay, and now I guess we just let it boil. I assume this is what I do on the stove as well. Fuck off! Your veggies should boil until you should be able to pierce them with a fork, just like that. You should be able to do that with all of them. Once you're done, get your whiz whiz stick. Okay, stick it in the pot and whiz the shit out of it. Try not to get smoke in the Oh my god, it burns. Highly recommend not doing this over a fire. As you can see, it came off the fire because that shit is insane. But you'll know it's done when it's like a smooth soup texture. You can see there's no bits left. Get it back on the fire. Curiously balance it on the grill again. Use gloves because I'm not that much of an idiot. Ah! I swear it worked. It worked just now. There we go. And we just let that bubble away and then soon we'll throw in a little bit of soured cream we'll go to tasting give it maybe like five minutes throw in the cream maybe another two minutes and then done see if it's doing the magic yeah yeah that looks good i think it's time to put the cream in try not to get it all over me because it's hot as fuck give it a quick taste test Oh my god, that's tasting so good. Pretty sure it's time. So I'm gonna take it off. Hopefully try not to kill myself. There we go. It looks amazing. Okay, eat this fucker right now. Okay, let's give it a go. Mmm. It's really good. It's really good. I really recommend that you try this. This one's good. Mm. If you enjoyed watching, hit the like button. If you want to see more of them, hit the subscribe button. Shut the fuck up, chicken. And if you've got something to say, like that fucking chicken over there, hit the comments below. <laughs>